Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about the concept of being the gray man. Now for starters, you wanna get yourself some gray clothing, uh, as gray as can be. It can be wolf gray, it can be uh, storm gray, it can be whatever, and you basically wanna cover up your body with as much gray as possible. And really to be a good gray man, you need gray pants, gray shoes, gray sweatshirt, uh, preferably a hooded sweatshirt that you can get over. Uh, maybe it can have these things in it so you can really cover up your whole body with as much gray as possible. So as a lot of you probably guess, you don't actually have to wear gray to be a gray man. I was just kind of joking. But gray isn't a bad color in a lot of scenarios, but the color of what you're wearing usually doesn't really matter. Uh, it's dependent on the environment. So gray man, if you're new to the topic, if you've never heard of it, or if you've heard of it but don't really quite know what it is, I'm gonna be getting into that here in a second, explaining what it is, and then kind of getting into should you care? Uh, what aspects of your life should it control? And should you go out and buy a whole new wardrobe because you want to be the latest, greatest gray man? You want to get on that trend, that bandwagon? Uh, covering all those topics today. Uh, it's going to be a pretty boring visual video. I'm just going to be sitting here and just going to be looking at my face. So if you got stuff to do, walk around, whatever, put your headphones on. It's just more of a, like a podcast that's a video maybe. I don't know, but we'll get into it. The fundamental kind of foundational concept of being a gray man is blending in with your surroundings. And now that's not with camouflage, though it is in a sense. So if you're working downtown and everyone's walking around in business casual, you would also want to be walking around in business casual if you wanted to be a gray man in that environment. If you hang out in a lot of hipster dive bars, then you might want to pick up some flannel, grow your beard out, grow your beer belly out, and wear some skinny jeans or something. Uh, that would allow you to be closer to what the average person is in that environment. That's what people in the gray man school of thought refer to as the baseline. So you wanna be as close to the baseline or the average of other people around you as much as possible. Um, now that can go beyond clothing, that can go into mannerisms, how you interact with people, how you talk, how you walk, how you smell. Uh, basically you wanna be forgettable. You don't wanna be unforgettable, you wanna be forgettable. That way you meet somebody and five minutes later they're like, I don't even remember a single thing about that guy other than he looked like every other guy. So that's the, that's the concept of being a gray man. That's, that's really all there is to it. You could get way deeper into the science and how your brain perceives those kind of stuff, but if you're just looking for a brief overview of what a gray man is, that's it. Now being a gray man is impossible for everyone. If you're seven feet tall, you're gonna stick out. If you're four feet tall, you're gonna stick out. If you're 600 pounds, you're gonna stick out. Uh, for me, you know, I'm half Asian, so in a lot of places I'm going to stick out, but like if I was living in Seattle or something, nobody would even take a second look at me. So some things are in your control, your wardrobe and that kind of stuff, but other things are out of your control. Some people just can't be a gray, 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 gray man. So the concepts of the gray man being the gray man are usually applied to a SHTF type scenario, civil unrest, that kind of thing, because you don't want to stick out. You don't want to be the target of maybe a militarized law enforcement. Uh, you also don't want to be the target of uh, you know people trying to take advantage of people. You just want to be another face in the crowd. You don't want to be the weakest person in the crowd, and you don't want to be the strongest person in the crowd. You just want to be you want to be not picked basically. So that's the concepts of the gray man as it applies to SHTF. Uh, and I'm totally on board there. I'm totally on board. Uh, and you can apply that more to even more than just yourself. You can apply it to your house, your car, your vehicle. In a time where there is uh, unruly, civil unrest, that kind of stuff, you don't want to stick out. You don't want to be known as the guy with all the resources. You don't want to be known as the prepper with all the food. You don't want to be known as the guy with all the guns. Uh, because either people will try and get those guns, get those foods, or try and come to you for help, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of somewhat uh, personal preference. If you want to be the guy in the neighborhood that everybody knows you can go, they can go to you for help, then by all means, be that guy. That's not being the gray man, but at the same time, I don't think that's negative. That's necessarily a negative aspect. Like me, I live in a pretty small mountain towns. I know my neighbors. They, for the most part, know I'm into guns and stuff. They don't know that they don't know the depths of it maybe but i'm all right with that because I, I like my neighbors and i would help them if i can but if you if you hate your neighbors and you don't want to help anybody uh, I, I totally get that too uh, in an shtf type scenario so i am fully on board with the gray man concept uh, when it pertains to things of civil unrest 
Now in normal everyday interactions, my normal everyday life, I'm not, I don't really try to, I don't go out of my way to be a gray man. At the same time, I don't go, go out of my way to be like uh, some macho man type guy. You know, I'm not wearing shirts that say like, I'll shoot you in the face, things like that. I'm just, you know, wearing whatever I want to wear. Uh, so I don't, I don't try to portray anything one way or another, but I'm certainly more on the tactical side, I think, if you had to peg me. Now, people will say you don't want to look tactical. You don't want to wear 511 tactical pants. You don't want to wear an American flag hat, that kind of stuff, because they want to apply the concepts of the gray man to every aspect of their life. Uh, and that's fine. I got nothing against that. I just don't do it myself because I think it's kind of stupid. I think it's kind of boring. And if you want to have the best tactical advantage in every aspect of your life, which I don't know, a lot of you guys probably are trying to go for, then yeah, be gray man and everything. But if you're, if you don't really care, if you're more of a realist and you just want to wear what you wear, you want to wear what's comfortable, you want to wear what's convenient. For me, I just like pants with pockets. I like to carry gear. I don't care if people see that I have a knife on in my pocket. I don't care if they see I have a flashlight. Is that going to make me a target? 99.9% .9 chance it's not. So you'll hear a lot of people, there's a lot of regurgitated information out there on the internet. And I try not to regurgitate anything because otherwise I'm regurgitating stuff. Other people are regurgitating my videos. I'm regurgitating other people's videos. And it's all stupid. And you don't get any new, uh, new thoughts. You don't get any individual thoughts on topics. You just get a bunch of repeated, someone wrote an article and everybody else regurgitates it. So the whole concept, if, if you wear 511 pants, you're gonna be the shoot first person. I think it's kind of BS. Uh, now I understand it, I'm not stupid, I get it. Like people wanna take out the biggest threat first, but in a mass shooting type scenario or anything, nobody's gonna scan the crowd to find who might be wearing a pair of pants that has cargo pockets, and that's who I'm gonna shoot first. No, they're just gonna shoot, they're just gonna shoot people. They're just gonna, whatever. Um, now that's different if you're going through like screening of some civil unrest or some road blockage, or you know, going through lines to get food resources and some kind of SHTF scenario, that's that's different. So I'm talking about regular everyday life. Are you gonna stick out? Are you gonna be the shoot first person if you're wearing 511s? I don't think so, I don't think so. And you can feel free to disagree with me in the comments. Feel free to dislike the videos too. This is probably gonna be one of my more disliked videos. But in everyday life, I don't care about being the gray man that much, really. Uh, and it's because people just don't pay attention for the most part. Uh, and I'm going to take it a step further and say, like, I almost want to be on the more tactical kind of like badass edge of this, if anything, because I think those kind of people probably usually aren't targeted and they usually aren't the victim. Now, if I look like a total gray man and I'm just walking from the grocery store to my car um, and there's an opportunist that's just looking to commit a violent crime, rob somebody, uh, and I just look like anybody else, just some normal Joe Schmo guy, then they may flip a coin and say, yeah, let's go after that guy, I'm gonna rob him. And yeah, chances are I would be able to defend myself, but uh, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't see them coming, they'd sideswipe me, I wouldn't be able to get to my gun, whatever. I would rather just not take that risk. And if me wearing tactical pants, if them seeing that I have a knife hanging out of my pocket or whatever, prevents them from targeting me, uh, because they, I'm like a harder target to them, then I'm gonna do it. And in most of my life, that's more what I care about. I'm not gonna, the chance that I'm gonna be involved in a mass shooting where the shooter is gonna look and profile everyone and find that, oh my God, that guy is wearing pants and he has a flashlight in his pocket. I need to shoot him first. The chance of that happening are so, 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 slim to non-existent that I just don't care about it. The chance of some mugger or random person wanting to uh, attack me or rob me in the parking lot is, is much higher. And in my personal opinion, uh, looking like you are more prepared, looking like the 5'11 guy will make you not a target to those kind of crimes that are much, much more common. Now, there's also an argument that if you wear 5'11s and whatever, you'd look like a cop. Uh, and you don't want to look like a cop. But I'm like, I can look like a cop, I think, because of the, the chance of me running into someone in a parking lot that's like trying to kill random cops in grocery store parking lots, I think those are really slim as well. Uh, and the chance of some other guy thinking I'm a cop and saying, I'm going to pass on this guy, 
uh, is much more likely. So I'm all about looking like a cop if I want to. So that's kind of a tangent to the gray man principle, but actually it's very, very closely related because people that just want to be gray man in every aspect of their life, they wouldn't wear 5.11s. They wouldn't wear a Glock t-shirt or something like that. And for me in my personal life, I've weighed the pros and the cons and I'm fine with it. I actually find pros to looking like the gun guy uh, more often than not. At the same time, people are like, oh yeah, and then other gun guys are going to point you out and they're going to find you in the parking lot. Well, that's fine. Their only other gun guys are going to find you in the parking lot. Uh, I'm okay with that. If some other gun guy finds me in the parking lot and wants to wants to talk about guns real quick, briefly, if I got the time, sure, that's cool. I'll make a new friend, whatever. So people are like, well, other gun guys are going to recognize you. And I'm like, that's fine whatever i don't i don't care so that's my personal thoughts on the topic of being a gray man in everyday life uh, obviously it'll be different for everyone so don't just listen to what i have to say about it so yeah basically if for some reason you were curious about how i felt about the gray man concept uh, that's basically it in shtf civil unrest scenario i'm all about being fully the gray man fully embracing the gray man and that goes as far as you know, I've heard I've heard people talk about it like if everyone in your neighborhood is starving then you want to also appear starving even if you have food just so you're not targeted just so people don't assume if people are going around asking for food door to door why don't you do that too just so you can blend in more so for me SHTF if if that kind of stuff happens for all you preppers out there uh, it probably won't happen but if it does uh gray man for sure I'm fully on board with the gray man take the american flag uh, down from your house, you know, park your truck in your garage, whatever, be a gray man. But for everyday life, uh, I just don't, I'm just not fully on board for everyday life things being the gray man usually. I actually find some pros in not being the gray man. For being, for being the gun guy, I think probably would benefit me more often than not uh, in my day-to-day -day life in ways that I would never be able to know. I don't know how many times I've walked through an alley or something and haven't been the victim simply because I was how I was walking or how I was dressed or anything like that. Um, so yeah, gray man. And you know, to get into a couple more gray man options also, uh, to, to talk a little bit more about the gray man, if, if you guys are really just really interested in being being the gray man, which if you want to, that's cool. I'm not, I'm not totally against this, it's just not really for me. So I'm really about big on situ situational awareness, looking around, scanning your environment, knowing what's going on, making eye contact with people that you think may be potential attackers or stuff like that because they don't people don't like when you make eye contact with them. So that those kind of concepts, that kind of behavior is fully 100% against being the gray man. If you want to be the gray man, you look straight ahead, you don't look around, you don't look uh, you don't make eye contact with people. Doing all the things that I think are good situa situational awareness practices that are good for making you not be the victim from uh, potential attackers, those are, those are anti-gray man concepts. So the true gray man will be like, well, you still gotta have, uh, you still gotta have an idea of your surroundings and you still gotta be aware of everything. So you have to take one step further and rather than just scanning and being situationally aware, Act like you're reading a book and also scan, or act like you're on your phone and also scan. But I'm just like, man, you just you're over you're over complicating things. Like, why are you going so over the top to be in just everyday life? Why are you going so over the top to try and be this amazing gray man by being situationally aware, but also trying not to be situationally aware while being situationally aware? I'm just like, ah, oh, it's it's too much for a regular person, and I feel bad. Because there's people, there's a lot of new people. My channel uh, reaches a lot of people that are new to guns, that are new to these kind of concepts. And they get they get overburdened by it. Like, oh man, I'm gonna get into guns. There's so many different kinds of guns. I gotta get into ammo. There's so many different kinds of ammo. I gotta also get into mindset. What is this situational awareness, but also non-situational awareness, being the gray man, but not being the gray man. It, gets, it just gets confusing. So I'm just like, I mean, just take all of the concepts in your in your normal everyday life and and really think about them yourself like I have. Just think about them yourself. Does the gray man make sense to you? And it might if you're if you're in a business environment, uh, if you're in an anti-gun environment and you don't want to stick out, you don't want your boss to find out you're into guns, whatever. Being the gray man for some things totally still makes sense to me. But for me and my life, 
going out of my way to try and blend in with everybody for the sake of blending in in normal everyday environments, it doesn't benefit me in any in any way. I find many more benefits in kind of sticking out and being more aware and being more tactical looking or whatever. So that's just me. It's just my thoughts. As all my thoughts on the channel are just personal preference, but usually pretty well thought out. So you can you can usually count on things that I talk about on my channel to not just be regurgitated information that I heard somewhere. Uh, if it sounds like regurgitated information that I heard somewhere, it, it could be, and I just I line up with it and I agree with it. But often, oftentimes you'll find videos like this where I'm just like uh, challenge the status quo of the tactical community. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on being the gray man. Are you a full-on gray man? Are you a SHTF gray man? Are you an everyday gray man? Do you like to be a little more tactical? Do you like to be uh, more openly situationally aware? Do you like to portray to everybody around you that you're situationally aware? I think in most everyday environments, I think that is beneficial for a lot of reasons. So anyway, I just felt like I should make a topical video. It's been a little while since I've talked about topics. And this is one that, you know, I kind of... It's kind of interesting to me, the gray man, because there's so many, it's basically if you're like a tactical person, if you're into firearms, if you're into survival, if you're into prepping and you're not a gray man, then you're just a total idiot that doesn't know enough about survivalism and guns. You really got to be the gray man. I'm kind of like, I know quite a bit about survivalism and guns and I choose to not be the gray man for a reason. So if you agree with that, let me know. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of people that do agree with me. And if you don't agree with me, I'll know because that thumbs up, thumbs down thing will get hit. So if you agree with me, thumbs up this video. Uh, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. And you know, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.